Welcome to lesson 97, using percent to name part of a group. And like fractions, percents can name a part of a group. You can complete half of your homework, or you can say I completed 50% of my homework. Once you finished all of it, you would say I've completed 100%. So percentage as a part of a group is always going to be out of 100. Have you completed the whole thing, 100% of it, or you've completed some kind of part of it? Now, up here on the board, I have two fractions. And you'll notice that they both have a denominator of 100. Whenever you have a fraction over 100, it's really, really easy to name a part of that percent, right? We've done this before. 99 out of 100 would be a 99%. 9 out of 100 would be a 9%. Very big difference, right? And so changing a fraction into a percent is super, super easy if you have 100 on the bottom. However, on your homework today, you don't have 100s on the bottom. Right? Take number uh, three, for example. 16 out of 20 is what percent? And I hope when you hear things like 16 out of 20, you think of a fraction. Okay? 16 out of 20 needs to be turned into a percent, like these ones were. But 100 is not on the bottom. However, you know that you can manipulate a fraction now and you know that you can make equivalent fractions by doing something to both the top and the bottom. How about multiplying 20 by 5? Won't that get you 100? And whatever you do to the bottom, you have to do to the top. 16 times 5 is 80. So I just made an equivalent fraction. 16 twentieths is the same as 80 hundredths. And we know that 80 hundredths is 80%. All right? So when you have a fraction and you need to change it to a, a percentage, or you have a part of a group and you want to change it to a percentage, if you can make 100 as the denominator, then you can solve it very easily. Number one is very tricky. And if you're watching the video and you have my homework, you're lucky to watch this because a lot of students get stuck on number one. It says 18 of the 30. Now, what can you do to the 30 to make it 100? Multiply it times 3, you get 90. 4 would be 120. So somewhere in between 3 and 4. Now, don't go trying to multiply it times 3.5 or 3.2 or 3.7. Instead, what if we make it a 10 on the bottom? Divide it by 3. Whatever you do to the bottom, you have to do to the top. Now I have 6 tenths. 6 out of 10 is 60%, right? Because if you multiply this by 10 and this by 10, you now have 6, 60, 1 hundredths which is 60%. So you can manipulate the fractions as many times as you want, but you need to get that 100 on the bottom to name that part of a whole group because 100 is the whole thing. All right, if you have questions about using percents to name part of a group, then come and talk to me and I'd be glad to help. Thanks.